While the overall number of Scottish bars dropped in 2018, there was an increase in the Highlands as tourists visited their favourite spots from the hit show. Tourists are preventing last orders being called on traditional Scottish pubs, a new report has revealed. While the number of bars across Scotland fell by 21% to around 6,000 in the last decade, the Highlands and Islands saw a rise of 14%. Experts believe that success is down to savvy publicans tapping in on the tourist boom, which has been helped by hint TV shows like Outlander. Paul Watterson, of the Scottish Licensed Trade Association, said, all the growth is really due to increased tourism and well-run pubs that are clearly giving customers what they want. A Visit Scotland survey said that 71% of all foreign tourists frequent a pub when they are here. Any tourist will tell you that there is nothing like a good Scottish pub. They just don't have them like that back home. It's only recently that the authorities realised that the pub is an integral part of tourism for Scotland. Paul also raised a glass to Scots actor Sam Hewen and Irish actress Katrina Balf, who play hunky Jacobite warrior Jamie Fraser and time traveller Claire Randall in Outlander. He added, There is no doubt Outlander has been a massive part of that success story. Even Sterling still gets an incredible amount of visitors from Braveheart and that's from over 20 years ago. And musician turned public and Bruce McGregor agrees. He converted his dad's music shop into his first boozer, McGregor's in Inverness, two years ago. He said, My dad Brian thought I was off my head, but between Visit Scotland promoting the country and the success of Outlander, tourism is massive here. We get a lot of Outlander fans. I've got a party of 30 next week who will be coming in for the food and music. I also play in a band called Blaze and Fiddles and people want to come and experience authentic music. They also want a story. So we've launched a whole range of cocktails named after historical characters. There's Jockey's Treble Tops after the darts legend Jockey Wilson. We also have the Beast of Bolskin after cult leader Alistair Crowley who stayed at Boleskine House by Loch Ness. All those things add to the experience as people want to know all about Scotland and the area. The 48-year-old believes many in his business are also missing a trick by failing to cater for middle-aged couples. He said, people like me and my wife were being ignored as we don't want a young pub with music blaring. Folk our age want new gins and local beers. Now Bruce plans to open a chain of McGregor's pubs across the country, including one in London. He said, the feedback we're getting is more and more people want a pub like ours. But it's not just the highlands and islands that are enjoying the bar boom. Paul added, Edinburgh tourism is all year round. Research shows it is usually the first port of call for visitors. If they have a bit more money to spend then they will venture from there to Inverness and the highlands. And if they return they will try Glasgow and Stirling too. New pub owner Robert Shepherd, inset left admits he ignored the doom and gloom to open up the Thistle Bar in the capital last October. He was able to transform his business's fortunes by aiming directly for the tourism market. The 56-year-old said, When I took over, the place was full of guys watching football on the TV and moaning if you had to put 10p on a pint. But we're in the oldest street in the new town and we needed to turn it into a more traditional Scottish bar. The only sport we show now is the Six Nations. Now we're getting more and more tourists. The Americans come to drink malt whiskies and will happily spend £17 on a nip of Balvenie double wood. I've also put nothing but Scottish beers on draft and we sell a huge amount of Scottish gins. It's not rocket science, if people travel halfway around the world they want to sample our incredible Scottish produce and our hospitality in a nice, cozy pub.